This group is well prepared. Everybody is wearing boots. They are wearing thermal tops, shorts with thermal bottoms, or tight-fitting longs. No one is wearing loose or baggy longs that may create drag on the legs. No one is wearing cotton t-shirts or tops that would take a long time to dry if they get wet. Hey right, guys, get your pack sorted out. Pack liners. If you're not sure how to do it, watch me. Roll it up. Take it right down. You don't want to get any of your gear wet when you go across the river. Bed rolls need to be on top of the packs. Especially yours, Tom. Everyone else. And make sure your straps are done tightly. We're going to make sure if nothing gets caught when we're crossing the river. Packs on. Hey guys, there's a can of rocks there, which we marked up earlier. That's going to be an entry point for the crossing. Going across and an exit point will be over there. Okay, the flow is pretty good and the depth should be about, about our knees, slightly deeper. Exit point, overrun, there's a couple of small places to pop out over there. We want to stay out of the rapids, definitely out of the rapids, okay. Okay guys. These sticks represent the banks of the river. We've got our flow coming down here, which you can see by the river beside us. This represents our group of people going across. We need to stay parallel to the flow of the river, come across, and the force of the river is going to push it down to the exit point, which is just over here. Everyone happy with that? Okay, Poriana, can you take your group and get them ready to enter up by the can yep. and get them ready to go in the water? And I'll watch you go across first. Yep. Sure. Okay, we're going to get ourselves into line. Tom, you're going to be upstream. Myself is going to be second, so move over to there now. Okay, you will be downstream. Chris, you are our smallest person, so you will be on the other side of Alex. Alex, you'll be moved over to Sebastian. Seb. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to undo our chest straps. Also make sure your raised ones are really they're easy to clip off as well. Okay, so put them back together. Yep. Make sure that these straps here are loose so that the person can put their arms through them. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do now is that we're going to link up. So pop your arms through the side of the bag. I'll just pop my stuff on me. Yep. Okay. Oh. Everyone comfortable? Yep. Everyone's yep. got straps? Yep. Okay. No, before we go anywhere. Alright. On the count of three, you guys are going to let go of each other's straps. One, two, three. Okay. What we're going to do now is that we're going to go and get a bit of water and splash it on our face so that we don't get a shock from the cold water, okay? If you fall into cold water, the shock can mean that you inhale quickly and suck water into your lungs. A good tip, splashing your face with cold water prepares your body so this should not happen. Okay guys, let's get ready to go. Okay, so we need to get your jacket rolled up. Okay, so roll up and tuck it into your buckle. The reason why we do that is so when you get in the river, water comes up too high, it doesn't put the jacket over your buckle so you can't get your buckle off in an emergency. Uh, you need to get your fleece tucked into your pants, same scenario, under your belt, buckle, get it tucked in, ready to go. Under your chest belts, loosen off your straps.
two guys need to undo your chest chips as well. Cooked. Thank you, Adrian. Connor, you can come here. We'll show the British people how to do these handholds. Okay, arm through, back, and he grabs hold of the bottom of my hip strap. Do the same with him. You'll notice how we're really close together, mutually supported, and that's the whole idea of this grip. He's got another grip here as well. If your arm's a bit shorter, you still got a fairly good grip. Okay, third option, shoulder strap. Only problem with this hold here, if you've got long arms, is you're not mutually supported. So it's not the best practice. Go, small steps. Watch me go, watch your steps. Okay. Right, okay. Going up. Four steps. Okay. Cool. Forward. Well. Right Slowly. Right I'm going to swing a little bit. I'm going to swing a little bit. Cross. Okay, how we go? Downstream. Downstream. <laughs> <laughs> One rock in front of me, stop. Downstream a little bit. Downstream. Two more. Big rock. Big rock. Big rock. <laughs> okay, downstream. Faces up, guys. Okay. Right, board. That's all. <laughs> Small steps. Good ones, huh? Okay, there you go. Awesome. Is that one okay? I love rubber. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Sometimes a river crossing does not go to plan. When something goes wrong, the group needs to make the decision to stop crossing as soon as possible. Stop the crossing if the water becomes too deep or if the water flow becomes very fast. The group needs to stay connected and back out of the river. They should reverse out until they are in safe water, then turn round and get out of the river. In some situations, it may be safer for a group to back the whole way out.